It was the setting for a historic speech, but this memorial usually leaves visitors speechless. Lauren visits a site in Washington that you probably see every day. Got a penny? Then you have a copy of one of our most moving national memorials. The image of President Abraham Lincoln and his memorial are also etched onto the $5 bill. But the contribution Lincoln made to this country can't be measured in dollars and cents. Lincoln was the person who persevered the most. He's the one who was the glue, in essence, that we kept this country from falling apart and separating into two very different countries. Lincoln saw the nation through its biggest crisis, the Civil War. He decided the only way to survive as the United States was to abolish slavery. His most famous speech, the Gettysburg Address, is inscribed on the South Wall. National Park spokesperson Bill Lyne says visitors are visibly moved by the power of Lincoln's words. Part of what is written there as to how he realizes that the nation is on the precipice of possibly falling apart, of possibly dividing into two nations, and how much that is causing angst and worry and how much he's wrestling with that comes through in the words that he uses in the, in the Gettysburg Address. To see that in stone, to see that in the area where Lincoln is, causes great emotional reaction on many people. As a great orator, he would have been pleased to know that another great speech was given here 100 years later. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. honored Lincoln when he chose the memorial as the backdrop for his famous I Have a Dream speech in 1963. I have a dream today. He had the the bravery, the, the, the fortitude, and his speech resonated so strongly and so uh, widely with African Americans, but, but also with all Americans. It was time to recognize that our past practices were wrong and that they needed to change. Like Dr. King, President Lincoln was assassinated for standing up for change. Countless speeches, protests, and celebrations have been held here since the memorial's dedication in 1922. It's clearly one of the most popular monuments in Washington. I like his speech to Gettysburg Address, and he is my favorite president. I just sort of think it's cool. It's got all his um, sayings, and it's got a big statue of him, and I just think that's cool. There are a couple of myths about the statue. Some people think the face of Robert E. Lee is carved into the back of Lincoln's head. It's not. That's just very wavy hair. Another myth is that the sculptor cleverly positioned Lincoln's fingers to send a message in sign language. Supposedly, the hands form Lincoln's initials, A and L. Also not true. Let's get that clear. They're myths and nothing more than myths. What is true is that this tribute in stone honors a man who stood like a rock against forces that would have torn our nation apart. At the Lincoln Memorial for Teen Kids News, I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching Teen Kids News. Be sure to tune in to Teen Kids News this week. Here's what you'll see. That and more coming up on Teen Kids News.